Hello guys, so it's Joel Noto here again. Today in this video, we'll be talking about how to use GIMP and Raw Therapy to edit these two days. Mind you, um, GIMP and Raw Therapy are both free software. So let's get into the video. The first thing is for us to go to the shadows or highlights and here, um the main reason why this place is the first place i'm going to is the fact that i want to just try and monitor the colors especially in the um, shadow part of it just bring them up a bit so as for me to see how the colors work in the picture then after that i can add contrast so now let's that's that about shadows highlight now let's go to l a and b adjustment let's increase the chromaticity a bit that's just to put a bit of saturation then let's go let's avoid color shift and let's go to the chromaticity and um, hue then let's take the reds up a bit and punch it up a bit yeah punch it up a bit um that should be okay now let's um close that and um go to our color i uh, will really need white balance and let's go to our hsv equalizer here we will go to our hue and um let's take the blue up a bit you can see yeah that's okay and let's go to the saturation here we want to increase the yellow and the red let's pump those up let's pump the situation up wow yeah then after this we we'll want to go to um the hue the the, the value equalizer here also we need to brighten the red colors mm -hmm. we need to brighten the red colors I think that should be okay so now let's close the hsv equalizer and i'm um, go to the rgb curves here we want to just tweak the reds okay i think it's already done so let's just last the mid tones up a bit but that we, we need the luminosity mode of the red just to brighten up the red part of the picture then next we go to the color toning and the mixture of color correction regions is selected in the method and then what you want to do next is the reason why we're going here now is just to add more blue to the image and um to do that you just go to the white little button at the middle and um drag it towards the blue side which is downward yeah yeah it's already giving us what we need looking good i think that should be okay then let's take up the saturation to somewhere around 22 20 so yeah. then the slope um let's take it down a bit let's take the slope down a bit yeah that should be okay then um that's all for the color toning That's all for the color tuning. Let's just close it. And now we want to remove the haze just to bring, um, just to add a little bit of contrast. So it removes the haze and adds a little bit of contrast to the picture we are editing. Yeah, take the depth down and um, yeah, take it on. And you can see, yeah, it's added. Oh my god, this is already looking so good. Now, the last thing we're going to be doing in um, the therapy is the wavelet level we need to add the edge sharpness to pump the picture a little bit to add that punchiness to the picture so the strength should be i think 15 should be okay and um, let's see take the details down 
and then we take a fine hop and stick it on yeah yeah it's looking so good but the next thing we want to do is to change this from curve to trash hold sliders and you want to take that should be okay yes so that's basically all for raw therapy now let's take the image to gym and continue our edit yeah yeah we're here in gym and the first thing we want to do is to add a water splash effect and um to do that just go to your file and drag to the image you can also open you can also go to your file and do that so let's scale it up and then position it I think what I want to do here is just to make sure the tip of the water is just going a bit close to his eyes. Yeah, this is good. Man, this is already looking so good. Now we want to add a little bit of sh sharpness to the um, water splash. I think it's already looking so good. I don't know why it's blue. So let's go to our sharpen on sharpen mask then i think increase it a bit and um this should be okay so now um what you can do next is to kind of blend the two together using um that's using a soft light to blend the two together now what we want to do is to select a color from the image i think the blue color over there is looking so good then let's use our bucket tool to fill it i think this is looking so good then let's go to the soft light in wow so now we can just play with the opacity beat and merge the two pictures together or the three pictures together then finally i want to go to the light and shadow and um add a vignette to it just a little bit you might not want a, a vignette on this image depends on what you want on your own image so just speed this up and um yeah this should be okay i think this should be okay yeah so that's all for this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel 